we've been salvaging cactus for about 10 years. And initially it was for the project itself, to bring native species of cactus to the site. Southern Nevada's building boom posed a threat to some genetically pure specimens, but it also offered an opportunity to work with conscientious developers and save cactus rather than leveling them. We've rescued cactus that would otherwise be destroyed because these are all lands that were going to be developed. In partnership with the Nevada Division of Forestry, Russ completed all the paperwork that would make the rescue mission official. It's not just anybody can come out and salvage cactus. You do need permits and harvest registration forms in order to do that. And, and we've gone through those, those different steps in order to allow us to do what we're doing today. And the operation was so successful, the team ended up with more cactus than they knew what to do with. Once the Springs Preserve opened, there wasn't as much of a need for the cactus on site. But obviously there's a huge need to continue to rescue the cactus here in the valley. The size of the need has never discouraged volunteers like these amazingly eager students from the Cheyenne High School Key Club. They're on a four-day weekend after finals, so uh, th them waking up on a Saturday is uh, very surprising. Still, they're willing to walk and work and learn to handle cactus with care. It's all on the ground training. Um, once they get here, we show them the different species that they'll be salvaging and how to do that correctly. We also bring in some of our regular volunteers who have been trained on cactus salvaging, and they supervise the groups as they're walking around and identifying the different species. In this case, a bumper crop of cotton tops, hedgehogs, beehives, and silver choyas from a fine natural cactus garden. As you can see, as you come off the, the mountain range here, we've got a huge alluvial fan that comes down here, and it's a prime spot for different species of cactus. And so we can get kind of more bang for our buck in this one area rather than going to four or five different areas. And it gives the young cactus scholars a chance to turn the salvage activity into their own brand of scavenger hunt. They're getting into it. They're getting excited as they uh, find the different species, and they, they make they always make competitions out of everything. So the, being in teams also helps out, and they're pushing each other and so it's good for them. It's also good for Las Vegas landscapers who will appreciate the specimens. We sold some last year at our plant sale and we completely sold out. So there is a demand for the species and for the native cactus. A demand that now translates into funds for an innovative grant program. The money that's generated from the sales goes back to the Clark County School System for science-based curriculum. So it helps promote um, education as well. Now that these students are cactus salvage experts, they'll also pass on their message of conservation and the possibilities for improving the classroom experience at their own school. So that this they could take back with them to Shine High School, go to the science teachers, say, hey, you know, I was working on this cactus program. They have grant money. Why don't we use that in our classroom? So hopefully this will build into uh, other things they can do at the school. Or even encourage the kids to visit the springs and take pride in the things that they've planted. They bring somebody into the preserve, they can tell them that they helped salvage the cactus that are there and they, they are part of the Springs Preserve.